Good afternoon, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back. Thank you, all my new subscribers, for joining us uh, day after day, and my regulars, and your kind comments, all of your prayers. Uh, you're so important to me, and this is such an awesome ministry that the Lord's given me at 74 years old. I'm a very blessed grandma here. Today, I wanted, I'm excited. I felt like the Lord uh, spoke to me about doing communion once a month on this channel, and I'm announcing it today that we will be taking communion, and I will schedule this right around the 15th of each month that week, and I'll announce it so you'll see, and I'll pre-record it so that you will see the communion, like we do our prayer time every Monday, once a month, about mid-month mid-month we will have a communion time and this I know some of you do uh, attend a church and you have communion uh, sometimes once a month sometimes more often amen and then others uh, watch online and I know that preachers online uh, do communion but perhaps you miss that so we will be incorporating this in the channel on my afternoon uh you know how we do the afternoon short. We will give God all the time that the Holy Spirit, uh, you know, leads us to do. It may be eight minutes. It may be 10 minutes. It may be 12 minutes. However, I feel the Lord is moving and touching people. You know how we can uh, feel the Spirit through our computer screens, amen, even our telephones. So, I'm excited. I wanted to let you know we will be doing communion. And you know what? If you just have water in your home and a piece of bread, or you have iced tea and a piece of bread what, or a cracker, you know what? It's symbolic. Amen. So we do communion and uh, with us every month. It doesn't matter whether you're drinking water or grape juice uh, or Kool-Aid. Amen. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of repentance. It's a time that, and I'm going to read you some scriptures here in a second, that Jesus told us to do in remembrance of him. Amen. Very important part of our Christian walk is taking communion. So we will be doing that once a month, that 15th midweek, uh, you know, time, you'll see a communion time on our heading. Amen. So I just wanted to share uh, from Luke 22 here. And uh, Jesus is speaking. And when he had taken some bread and given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Uh, do this in remem remembrance of me. And in the same way, he took the cup after he had eaten, saying, this is my cup, which is poured out for you in the new covenant of my blood. But behold, the hand of one betraying me is with me on the table. For indeed, the Son of God is going. It has been determined, but woe to that man whom he betrayed. And of course, Jesus is speaking of Judas. But the last thing he really did was instructed the disciples to do communion. And I believe that's what the Lord has instructed me after a year being on the air. It's time now to do a communion time. So it's coming next week. You'll see it. Uh, if you miss it, it's up. You know, if I do it, I think I've got it scheduled for next Thursday. If we do that communion and you miss it, it's going to be up there. Amen. So try to join us each month uh, for a time of repentance, a time of remembrance. Amen. It's important for all of us. And if you've missed it at your church or you don't have a preacher online, you can come here once a month and uh, do communion with us. Amen. So I wanted to let you know that's coming. I wanted to thank you uh, for I've received a few donations already this month. God bless you. Thank you very, very much. I know these are not easy times for you folks and every dollar uh, in the comments section next to the arrow, you'll see the three dots and you just click that and it shows you how to donate on the super thanks. I'm so grateful for you. Um, it's, it's a blessing in my life, honestly. 
Um, it's a real blessing, every dollar that I receive. God bless you. So also, I wanted to ask you, leave your comments. You know my Jackie's one-liners. At the end of the description now, you know, God's giving me these uh, one-liners. And I think today, as I record, uh, I'm going to, my one-liner here is, pride will destroy any relationship. Pride will destroy any relationship. And as you know, I record a week ahead, so you'll be seeing that one coming up. Let me know what you think about uh, the, are you reading those? Do you see them? Would it be better if I just spoke these out each time I did a video? Uh, as I said, today's will be pride will destroy any relationship. Not only our godly relationship, amen, it'll come between us and we will sin with pride in our relationship before God, but also in our marriages, in our friendships with our children, all of our relationships, amen. Pride will destroy any relationship. So leave your comments. Let me know what you think about those. If if you think, Jackie, they're foolish, be honest with me and I won't put them up anymore. If you're reading them and you enjoy them, you know, give me a thumbs up, a bullseye. Let me know what you think. And if you're missing them, they are there at the end of the description column. And then if you want me to speak them out each day, I do a video, I will do that too. And if you say, Jackie, leave it alone, <laughs> I will understand. And I, if a lot, if several of you say that, then I will no longer put those in the description. Amen. I won't say another word. So I wanted to, I'm excited. We'll do communion next week. You'll see it. I wanted to announce it's coming. And I wanted to thank you already. Monday's prayer time, we had over 40 people watching that. And I know many of you are taking down the names. If you don't get them all, even if you can stay on for 10 minutes and get most of the names, I'm going to talk less on Monday and just give you the names and then pray afterwards. And that way you can get most of the names and then pray on your own time. God is moving. I think we had six or eight praise reports uh, Monday. People got homes and people need healing. People are getting healed. Uh, one of our gals, Marion, I think if her name uh, is... Uh, her eyes are stabilizing. Uh, another one that's I want you to please pray for is Nan. N A N. Nan needs a, needs a miracle. Nan has a health problem, and I'm just asking you to pray for a miracle for Nan. So today's just kind of filling you in. Communion coming next week. I'll announce it on Monday at prayer time. Please go into prayer time last Monday. Take as many names down as you can and pray. Amen. And um, I, that's what I wanted to say. Let me know what you think about my one-liners. Uh, today, I'll be putting up a video, Pride Will Destroy Any Relationship. Amen. So that's one that I'll have up there uh, in the next week or so. If you're not, if you think that's silly or you don't want to hear it from me and you don't want it in the description, you know, be honest with me. Amen. Be honest with me. In love. Amen. <laughs> so the Lord be with you today, the rest of your day. May his peace fall upon you. May his goodness, his grace, and his mercy go with you. And if it's time for you to lay down your head tonight in peace, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that you would lay down your, uh, that your people would lay down in peace and rest, Lord God, that their bodies would be healed, Lord God, that their minds would be settled and comforted, God, by your spirit, Lord God, your blood covering be upon them, their whole family, Lord God, their whole dwelling place, Lord God, and that you would watch over all of their children and their grandchildren, Lord God, and those in their families that are not yet saved, Lord God. We all stand together and pray for our unsaved loved ones, Lord God. For Lord God, you are able. You saved our soul many days ago, months ago, years ago, Lord God. And you are able, Lord God, no matter where they're at right now, you are able to speak to them, Lord God, in their night hours and to chase them by day, Lord God. We want our loved ones in heaven with us, Lord God. So Lord God, be in the rest of our day, Lord God. Encourage your people. Bless your people, Lord God. Every 
every dollar in their pocket, Lord God. Let it be stretched to a hundred dollars, Lord God. Fill their pantries, Lord God, and fill them with your anointing power that they might go out and share the love of Jesus Christ. And most of all, this day, thy will be done in their life today as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. Thank you so much for listening. And please share. I know, folks, I know in my spirit um, that there will be a day that these uh, videos won't be on YouTube. I know it's coming. I see that there are more restrictions, not only on this platform, but coming out of the UN and even our own government in America, even in the West. It's already happening in Canada and Australia and New Zealand. It's coming to America. So please share these uh, while we're here. I don't know whether we'll be raptured first or whether we'll be taken off the air first. Things are happening quickly. So God bless you. God be with you in Jesus' name.